Hey, what's up, everybody? Steve Schwartz here from LSAT Unplugged, joining you today to share a bit about upcoming LSAT test dates and why you shouldn't rush to take the LSAT. Before I get into it, a little bit about LSAT Unplugged. We offer live online classes via Zoom, on-demand video courses, small group coaching, and one-on-one -on -one coaching. Check out the links below this video to find out more and to book a call with me and my team. We'd love to help you out. So upcoming LSAT test dates. There are several LSAT test dates coming up later this year and into next year as well for the upcoming admissions cycle. We have April, June, August, September, October, November, January, February, April, and June over the next 12 to 15 months. There are a lot of opportunities to take the LSAT. And so what this means is that you should not rush to take it sooner than you feel that you will be ready. At the time of this recording, the April LSAT is less than one month away. And in my view, there's really typically no great reason to take the April LSAT because it's too late for the cycle of finishing up. And if you feel like you might not achieve, achieve your fullest potential on the April LSAT for the upcoming admission cycle, why not go for June or August instead? You can still apply at the beginning of the cycle in the fall either way. Now, currently, the June LSAT, less than three months away. What you should typically find is that in the final couple of weeks prior to the LSAT, you should be scoring at or around your target or goal LSAT score, ideally a few points above your goal so that if worst case scenario, if something goes wrong on test day, the proctor screws up, internet's bad, there's noise outside, interruptions of some kind, you will still have a safe buffer. So if you find that you're scoring at or around or ideally a little bit above your goal LSAT score in those few weeks prior to the June LSAT, for example, you could then, of course, go ahead and take it in June. If there is something terribly wrong on the June LSAT, you still have August as a backup to apply at the beginning of the cycle. But if you find, for example, that you're currently in college and the end of semester is a bit busy and you find that with papers, exams, time with friends on campus, for example, things are a little bit busy you might not achieve your fullest potential by the June LSAT, and you may find that it's better to devote the summer to focusing on the LSAT and then take it in August with September as a backup in case the August LSAT doesn't go well. In short, what I'm suggesting here is that the April and June LSATs might not be it for you. Instead, I might want you to think about, on average, going for August or September instead. You can still apply perfectly early in the cycle, if not at the beginning of the cycle. And besides, Applying early matters much less than it used to. Law schools operate on a rolling admissions basis, yes, but they waitlist plenty of students and they're typically waiting to see who else will come along anyway, and oftentimes not releasing decisions until the spring. As I record this right now in mid-March, currently lots of schools are announcing decisions now. And so why apply in August or September and wait six plus months to hear back when you could instead take it in September, October, November, achieve your fullest potential on the LSAT with mul multiple opportunities to retake within that range of test dates, and you can still apply early enough to get scholarship money to have good chances of admission. Even the January and February LSATs are not too late, although, as I said, I do believe the April LSAT is too late for any given admissions cycle. So anyway, folks, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It really does help with that YouTube algorithm, and I really do appreciate it. And if you'd like my help with the LSAT, no matter when you're taking it, please feel free to reach out. We have live online classes via Zoom, on-demand video courses, small group coaching, and one-on-one -on -one coaching. Click the links below to find out more and to book a call with me and my team. We'd love to help you out. In the meantime, I'll wish you all the best and take care. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.